All right, guys, so I'm in Blender. Um, I'm going to change my viewport shading to solid. Uh, I want to view, and I'm going to say align view, align active camera to view. Okay, so I know that this area right here is what's going to render. I'm going to come over here to my side panel. Um, the camera icon is selected, so I get this information. I put my end frame as one because I just want a single still image. Um, I have to tell it where I want the image to render to, so I click on the folder icon. I have it set to my desktop. I'm going to delete that. I don't need anything there. And I just hit accept for the placement of it. I know I want it to be a JPEG. Um, PNG is the default. I'm just going to leave it JPEG, RGB. Now you're like, well, Miss Miller, how do I actually render this? Um, Blender Render is your default render, okay? This is where you select the actual type of render, render engine. Um, they have Blender Game, Cycles Render. Cycle Render just looks very smoothed out um, and not as contrasty. So if I go back to rendered, it this looks like how Blender Render would look. I mean, if I go to Render, Render Image, there you go. If I change it to Cycle, I'm going to see what Cycle Render is, and I go to Render, render image. This takes long, so I just wouldn't do it because it's really going to slow up your computers. It might crash. You just never know. Make sure you're saved your file. But you can see, and my computer at home is newer. So I would just kind of stay away from cycle render. And when something renders, you kind of like to let it, you need to let it render all the way. It just doesn't do well when you stop. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm just gonna go back to render render. And then I'm gonna go ahead, render image. Okay, see how quick that was? Okay, now how do we actually save this image? So you go down here where it says image, click image, save as an image, and now this is where I could say frame one, frame one dot jpeg. And then I would actually click save. Okay. So if you want to go back to your regular view, I just click here, 3D view image, and now I'm back to where I'm at. I want to change my viewport shading back to solid. And then if I want to get rid of the bounding box, you guys know, go to align view, and then I just go to view selected, and then I can just kind of move around freely in the space. So, so that's how you render it. Now if I click minimize this on my desktop, there it is, frame one. Okay, so that that image is still is right here on my desktop okay all right so that is how you render a single frame